peaked of, of the hunt. I am drowning by asshole. Keep firing, asshole. Hi, and welcome. So, um, I came across the big news about, uh, one of my favorite comedy, uh, movies of all time. And I'm shocked that nobody talking about it. That is baseball. Okay? Lone Star. Okay? Uh, yeah, I grew up with this movie. And, um, yeah, if I did, if I did my top 10 favorite comedy movies of all time that I like, that I love, and my favorite, they could be up there. They could be up there with, um, Napoleon Dynamite, Dumb and Dumb, the Wayne World movie, okay? Um, so, um, so I came across that, uh, I'm gonna read the article in a minute, but I think it said that, um, uh, Amazon, you know, a couple of years ago, Amazon bought uh, the MG, MGM, the company that owns Dane Bond, uh, and they're planning on doing a sequel to Baseball. Okay? Um, and, uh, okay, you know, Baseball 2, search for more, more money. Okay? Um, uh, okay. So, um, So, um, always love this movie. So, um, I'm going to read you the article and then I'll give my thoughts and opinion on it, okay? Um, so let me know how you feel about a, uh, Baseball 2 movie, you know, a, a sequel, and what other sequel would you like to see, uh, it made, okay? And also, to be honest, what sequel do you think should never get made? Or she never had been made. And I'll talk about that in a minute. But let me read the, let me read the article, okay? Um, uh, okay, uh, it says, Facebook Fickle and Development at Amazon MGM with John Gad starring Mel Brooks Producing. Hey, I didn't know, to be honest, I didn't know Mel Brooks was still alive, to be honest, okay, um, so, I'm gonna hook him up, okay, I don't know how old Mel Brooks is, if he's 70 or 80, okay, I don't know, okay, because a baseball sequel is in development at Amazon MGM Studio, just yet, it's set to star and will produce alongside Mel Brooks. Um, Dark Green Bond will direct the film from a screenplay by Benjamin Kemp and Dan Horn and Gad, while Kevin, uh, will, um, produce the project in early stages and will plot detail are being kept under wraps. Amazon declined to comment. Writing do statement uh, and Hernandez are bad known for their work as uh Ninja Turtle, uh, Teenager Mutant Ninja Turtle, Mutant Mayhem, okay? Pokemon Detective Pikachu, Adam Family uh, 2, and the upcoming Disney Black Lucasfilm special Lego Star Wars Review the Galaxy, okay? Um, Never saw none of them movies. The only one I saw was Detect Detective Pikachu, and they're not like it. Okay. Uh, the original 1978 uh, MGM film Baseball star Bill Pullman, a lone star Jan John Candy at bar, Daphne Nuga, a prince of Daphne, Rick Miranda, a lo lone Lord. A dark helmet, Rick Miranda and Lord Dark Helmet, and Book 
at Predident, Crew, and Yoga, Fate offer a parody of both Star Wars, Star Trek, and Alien. Okay. Um. So um. They ended book for time revision a classic comedy in recent years. In 2023, he wrote and produced History of the World Part 2 and follow up to his 1981 Part 1 feature book, one of the few entertainment to Bruce President's EGOT status, directed and starring films such as Brady Shadow, John Frankenstein Robin Hood, Men in Tight. He was also honored with the Career Achievement Award. At the 84th annual Peabody Award, early this morning. Rihanna, I don't know what the Peabody Award is. I don't know. Okay. Uh, they're supposed to be doing a, uh, a Chris Farley biotech. I grew up with Chris Farley in SNL, and they said they, 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 they were planning on doing a, a live action. Um, I think the guy that, the guy that, uh, I'm not sure, I think the guy that created uh, Captain Underpants, he had an idea that he wanted to do a live action in the Captain Underpants movie with Chris Farley. That would have been awesome. Okay. I like Chris Farley. He, he's so funny. Okay. Um, um, okay. So, um, the first one got 7.1 out of 10. And IMDb, it got a uh, 52% on Rotten Tomatoes, it got an 83% uh, with the audience score. So this is one of the movies where, you know, sometimes I agree with the audience, sometimes I agree with the critic. Okay? So, I'm not one of those people where um, I always agree with the audience score or I always agree with the critic score. Okay? I always... Uh, Say, go in and make up your mind, watch the movie or the TV show, and make up your own mind, okay? Don't let, don't let either the audience score persuade you one way or the critic score persuade you one way, okay? And, and, uh, the audience score, uh, is 83%, and I'll probably lean toward that way, okay? Um, I really like this movie. I grew up with this movie. Um, I think it's a classic. Uh, who directed it? Mel Brooks. Okay, I never, I never saw Breaking Saddle. Let me know if you think I should see Breaking Saddle. I probably need to get it and watch it later on the road if I do like a big giant marathon, a classic, famous comedy movie. Um, okay. Um, I would like to see uh, uh, all the original people come back. They were supposed to do a uh, another uh, uh, what's that other one? Uh, Rick Miranda was in uh, Honey on Front of Kids. Okay, I, I hope he come back in another Honey on Front of Kids. Okay, because like like a year or two ago they had another story about that, and he said he might come back. That would be cool. I wish that the Rick Miranda would would um would showed up in the last GoFundMe movie. That would be cool. You know, all, I think all the original people were in it except for him. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. So. Um. Uh, and nowadays, nowadays, people are talking about comic book movies, or Star Wars, and, and I'm like, yeah, but I like, uh, Facebook, okay? And I don't know if it, if it's going to be on, uh, Amazon account or something, so, so, um, I might, See if uh, one of my relatives, my brother, have an Amazon account, so I have to sign up. Okay. Uh, I think I might have an Amazon account. I hope it does come in three years. I think it should. Uh, 
did a lot of sequels. I don't think it should ever get made. Like one of them was the Dumb and Dumber 2. Okay. Dumb and Dumber 1. The first one, I think it should have been just a standalone movie, okay? Um, okay. The point dynamite. Uh, I'm 50 50 on that. The only way we were for no point dynamite 2 for what? If it came out like, like a year or two after the first one went, the point dynamite, like everybody went on the, the point dynamite hype train. Now everybody, everybody is move on. They're on the John Wick train. They're on, they're on the, the comic book movie train. Okay, so on and so forth. Okay. But back then, when I was growing up, everybody, uh, you know, I, when I went to the mall and stuff, they had the, uh, what's it called, uh, Buffalo Pedro t-shirt, okay, um, so, uh, yeah, okay, um, uh, I would like to see, uh, so, I would like to see, uh, an 8 Ventura, Pet Detective 3, I'd like to see, um, Wayne World 3, Austin Power 4, because that one uh, ended on a cliffhanger. Um, okay, um, just, just to name a few, okay. I don't, I don't think that, um, okay, those are the ones that, those are the ones that, uh, you know, Wayne World 3, Austin Power 4, uh, 8 Ventura Pet Detective 3, if those would came out, now I, I would get excited for it. And that would be like my most anticipated movie. Okay, um, if, uh, okay, uh, other movies that I don't think should got made, now I'll take you to movies that I don't think should not got made. Number one, Star Wars episode seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Um, the, the second, um, uh, where's the Anchorman? Okay. I, I think I only watched it one or two times when it came out. So, so, but, but I, I, I need to check it out again. But I really think it don't need to be made. It should not be made. Okay. Toy Story four. Okay, every time I think about Toy Story 4, every time I mention Toy Story 4, I think of Forky. I'm like, yeah, yeah, okay, to run the move, to run the franchise. Or, or, I should say the trilogy, okay. Uh, I didn't mind 4 and 5. 4 could be a lot better, but, but not a god off the way. So, we're 7, 8, and 9. And I like, I kind of like, uh, uh, Indiana Jones 5, Die, Die Our Destiny, okay? I know a lot of people hate it, and you got some that liked it, but, okay. Um, okay. Um. Okay. Um. So, um. Yeah, okay. Um. So. Um. Um, let's see here, um, Mel Brooks, he's 97 years old, wow, okay, I didn't know he was that old, I didn't know he was still alive, to be honest, okay, uh, Um, okay, um, so, um, I hope, I hope, uh, this, this, this is like a tribute to him, and he like, what, did, did say that he's a producer or something? Or, okay, um, and, um, okay, um, I hope it does, 
if they don't come at the end, I hope it does come at the end for living time only or something. I would see it. Open day or night, whatever. Okay? And if it, if it turns out to be good, I'll see it a couple, couple times a year, okay? Um, and I hope Bill Pullman come back at Lone Star, I mean, uh, Lone Star and Rick Miranda at Black Helmet, you know, Dark Helmet. Okay? Um, okay? So, um, yeah, okay? I know that, that, I know that people that I watch the video and they say they don't like this movie, they're not much of parody, but I like it, I'm glad they get a sequel, I just hope Bill Pullman come back, uh, uh, I grew up with Bill Pullman in this movie, Baseball, and, um, an uh, independent day, okay? Um, so, um, I'll be, I'll be very disappointed if, uh, this movie comes, uh, the second one comes out, and you don't have Bill Pullman in it, and you don't have Rick Brandon in it. Okay, so like, I would, I would, um, I would, um, dad, when they, when they make, uh, X-Men, uh, I mean, not X-Men, uh, uh, what's the movie? Matrix, Matrix 5, what, what they call Red Direction, and, and they have Hugo Weaver in it, and, uh, Lauren Fitford in it, okay, uh, okay, so, um, uh, looking back at it, yeah, uh, people are thinking, oh, it's flawed, it's bad, that movie should not be made. But, before the movie has been made, yeah, you can make a good, uh, fourth, fourth, uh, Matrix movie and brought everyone back, but they didn't do it. They brought another guy, and he's trying to be like Lauren Spencer, and then you got another guy, he's trying to be like, uh, the Schmidt. And be like Luke uh, Hugo Weaving, I'm like, no, no, no. Okay, I grew up with the Matrix. Okay, so they do all of the favor um, and bring everyone back. If, if, you're, gonna, if you're gonna make another sequel, um, bring everyone back. And uh, Don Candy. Uh, John Candy. Um, uh, and so maybe, maybe they can do a tribute to John Candy. And fake ball too. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So let me know how you feel about a, a second one. For me, I'll be okay with it if, if they have like, uh, you know, um, the same people back. Bill Pullman. Uh, Rick Miranda, so on and so forth, even the same girl. Okay. Um. And, um. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Like I guess, Dr. Let, me, let me know. Are you one of the people that didn't like, uh, fake ball, or are you one of the people that like, like fake ball? Fake ball. And like I said, if I did, if I did my, uh, Top 10 favorite uh, comedy movie of all time, Spaceball will be up on there. On well, my top 10 favorite comedy movie of all time. Like up there with the Point Dynamite, uh, the first two Wayne World movies, uh, probably the Wayne World 2, but I watched that one more than the first one. Um, Point Dynamite, uh, Eight Ventura movie, 1 and 2, Wayne World 1 and 2. The Point Dynamite, some of the Awesome Power movies, especially the first two ones. 
campaign. Um, so, uh, yeah, so thank you for watching and long dong.